Hey hi and welcome back. I hope that you are enjoying this training. So this is basically the last video of this topic and in this video I am going to show you how to program the Atmega 328 microcontroller using USB to UART converter. Okay. So this video is going to be pretty interesting as we are programming our hardware for the first time. So with this video uh, we will be able to verify whether our microcontroller section is working properly or not. Okay. And in previous video itself, uh, we programmed the bootloader in the microcontroller and now our hardware is actually compatible with the Arduino IDE and we can easily program the code in the microcontroller. Okay. So I hope that you will enjoy this video. So now let's start with this video. Alright, so before we program the code in the microcontroller, first of all, let me show you how exactly the setup is. Okay. So let me show you how exactly we have powered our system, how exactly the USB to UART converter is connected to our hardware. Okay. So first of all, let me show you how exactly we are powering our system. So these are basically the two wires uh, through which we are powering our system. And these two wires are actually coming from an external power supply. And I have set the voltage of external power supply to 12 volt. So this is basically the negative terminal, you can say black color and this is the positive terminal which is actually represented by this red color. So we are getting 12 volt on the uh, input side of a 7805 IC through this DC uh, mail jack and this is how basically we are powering our hardware. Okay. Then uh, you can see here this is basically the USB to UART converter and this USB to UART converter is actually connected to our microcontroller uh, with the help of wires and another side this USB part is actually connected to the computer. Okay. So now let, let me show you how to program the code in the microcontroller uh, using Arduino IDE. One thing that I want to tell you here is uh, you just observe these two LEDs because when we will program the code in the microcontroller at that time these two LEDs will actually start blinking. Okay. So you just observe these two LEDs. And once the blinking of these two LEDs will stop, it means that the code is actually programmed in the microcontroller. Okay. So now let's go to the Arduino IDE and let's program the code in the microcontroller. So on Arduino IDE, you can see this is just a blank code. I have not written any kind of code and we are going to program this blank code uh, in the hardware because we just, we just have to test whether we are able to program the code in the microcontroller or not. Okay. So let's program this blank code uh, in the microcontroller and meanwhile you can also check these two LEDs. Uh, you will find that these two LEDs will start blinking once the Arduino ID will start programming the code in this microcontroller. Okay. So I will just upload, uh, so I will just click on this upload button now and you just observe the blinking pattern of these two LEDs. Okay. So you can see the LEDs were blinked. It means that the code is now programmed in this microcontroller. It also means uh, everything is perfectly fine with our controller and controller, uh, controller section is working properly. Okay. So one more thing that I want to tell you here, when you get this, uh, this uh, remark on the Arduino ID, which is actually uh, done uploading, it means that Arduino ID was successfully able to program the code in the microcontroller. So if you are unable to program the code in the microcontroller, then you will not get actually this remark, which is done uploading. Okay. So I hope that you got the procedure to program the code in the microcontroller. It's very simple. You just have to connect this USB to TTL converter to our hardware. Ground pin will be connected to ground. Then TX will be connected to RX. RX will be connected to TX. And then this DTR pin of the microcontroller, uh, sorry, uh, USB to UART converter will be connected to reset pin uh, on the on the hardware and you make sure that 0.1 microfarad capacitor is connected on the hardware okay because without this capacitor you won't be able to program the code in the microcontroller okay so that's what i wanted to tell in this video i hope that you enjoyed this entire topic and if you if you have any kind of doubt related to any video uh, of this particular topic then do not hesitate to ask any question ask me questions I will help you with that and I want you guys to have absolute clarity about every single thing 
that we are discussing in this entire training okay so that if anyone ask you uh, any question related to any part of hardware then you should be able to answer the questions okay so that much confidence i want you guys to have once you complete this training okay all right so that's what i wanted to tell in this video now i will see you in the next topic which is about hardware testing troubleshooting process okay so i will see you in the next video now